welcome back to the channel. Uh, just want to go over this new edge monitor that I got today, the CTS-2. Just as a monitor, I still have my three pillar gauges here, but let's get this thing booted up. It can monitor a lot of other stuff and uh, you can hook up pretty much anything to it from a uh, simple gauge, pressure or temperature or anything else to a turbo timer. Um, so I have plans for it in the future to expand some things, but uh, for now I can monitor things that I haven't been able to previously monitor and it all comes, but it's, I mean, it's $430 uh, from the get-go, but uh, it's cheaper than buying, you know, $200, $250 individual analog gauges. And I like the analog style, as you can tell, it kind of matches the rest of the dash, but, you know, figured I'd bring it to the 21st century and along with my head unit, which I absolutely love and I've had for like four years now. So I'm sure a lot of you have the Edge, it's uh, not really new news anymore, but it's new to me. So we're going to go over it, and it's going to be like the 100th YouTube video talking about the Edge, but whatever. Alright guys, so here it is. Uh, this is the way that I have it set up right now, and I want to get a drive pressure sensor to monitor uh, drive pressure from the turbo, but I don't have that at the moment. Things that I really wanted to monitor that I wasn't able to before is uh, rail pressure and low pressure fuel. So I can do both of those now, especially when winter starts coming around to make sure that my fuel's not gelled and I got proper uh, pressure to the injection pump and the injectors. Also, mine never had an issue, but RPM gauges on uh, the 06 third gen model trucks uh, have issues and so I don't know if this would have an issue too but I have a secondary way of monitoring RPM and now I can do engine load and everything it'll show me what gear it's in um, so many more things and you can change the setup to whatever you want I just wanted something simple and you can also do um, I guess you can hook a tuner up to it I have EFI live which doesn't hook up to it but change the layout check the uh, records you can do data logging as well so uh, if you you know driving down the track and you don't want to monitor your gauges gauges because you're focused on driving then you can uh, go back and look at the records for like highest CGT highest boost pressure highest mile an hour or so on and so forth um, or you can data log as well and I mean if you have EFI live you can data log through your uh, tuner as well Performance testing 0 to 60 quarter mile times etc. Diagnostics you can clear trouble codes mileage coach Who needs that? Um, schedule maintenance um, So many different things you can expand it to anything else you want as well the uh, only thing that I don't like about it is down here in the uh, OBD2 port, if you can see that. I can't plug in my CSP5 switch and the edge at the same time because I have the old style switch which apparently doesn't have a power wire to it. Now, I do know that uh, you can set your tune with EFI Live 1 through 5 and unplug it and it'll stay in that tune and then plug your edge in so I'm just always on the race tune uh, and that, that works for now until I feel like dropping $75 on a new switch but yeah so that's the edge and uh, let me know what if y'all have an edge and what y'all have monitoring and what like external things you have plugged in to monitor and things that I should monitor that I'm not right now so um, Hope you enjoyed this upload. Please subscribe for more and hit that bell so you know when I upload new videos. I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. See you later.